I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. And then humanity left Earth. In 1969, Apollo astronauts traveled 240,000 miles to the moon. Apollo 10 reached nearly 40,000 kilometers per hour, the fastest humans have ever traveled. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station orbit Earth 16 times a day over a career that adds up to hundreds of millions of miles. Within your lifetime today, you could realistically travel to Mars it would take about six to nine months one way. A round trip would add hundreds of millions more miles to your life's total. But compared to the stars, even that is almost nothing. Here's where physics puts down the law. Nothing made of matter can reach the speed of light. Maximum warp, punch it. Why? Because as you go faster, your mass effectively increases. To push a speck of matter to light speed would require infinite energy. More power. At 99.9% of light speed, you'd need the energy of entire nations. At 99.9999%, the energy of stars. And matter itself starts to break down under the strain. Time itself changes. The faster you go, the slower your time passes compared to people standing still. This isn't theory. We see it. Cosmic rays called muons live longer when moving near light speed, enough to reach Earth's surface. GPS satellites tick slightly differently from clocks on Earth, corrected every day for relativity. So how far can you go in a lifetime if your time is the only clock that matters? This was just a slice of the story. Check out our channel for the full video.